doing booktube for six years. And so how are we going to be uh, celebrating? Organizing the books, of course. Hi guys, it's April. And in honor of my booktube anniversary coming up, I decided that I would give you yet another bookshelf reorganization video. I have been meaning to do this for so long and I decided just to take a day off of work and just organize my bookshelves. How this is gonna go, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna follow my gut instinct. It probably isn't gonna be how you guys like to organize your books because my system is a little bit willy-nilly. But of course, as you're watching, leave me comments down below of like, what you think I'm doing right? What you think I'm doing wrong? How I could improve and what you would probably do if you were in my shoes, even though I'm not wearing any shoes. My hope is to get some fun shots with both my camera and my phone and somehow edit them together and have this really cool video I've always wanted to do something like that when I've been organizing my books. I haven't ever really gotten an organization video that I have been 100% proud of. Will this one be it? I don't know. Maybe. But I figured I'd take you along for the journey, play around with some of the technology. Hopefully this isn't a complete bust and I guess here we go. I need to dust something fierce. I left Brandon Sanderson where he was because I kind of like him there. I might rearrange how his books appear because there are a couple that are still missing because I've loaned them out and a couple I still have on the way. But otherwise, I'm kind of going to build out around Sanderson. I've got a pile of stuff over here that are all authors that I only have a single book from. The rest of the books that are over here, I've got multiple books from various random authors. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to group genres together or if I'm just going to go by appearance first and then work from there. Thinking about doing rainbow order with the books that only have one author. Because I have this, I have this really, um, Pet peeve, I can't break up authors' works. I need them to be together because otherwise it bugs me and then I definitely need series together because it doesn't make sense to me otherwise, which is why I might do Rainbow with just the ones that I have singles from, if that makes sense. But I'm gonna go get a Swiffer, 
I'm gonna dust all this off and I will be back.
Okay. This is the completed bookshelf. This is the full view. As you can see, I've got some books at the top that the covers are being displayed. Those are actually covers that are done by artists that I absolutely adore. The Nevernight series was done by Kirby Rosan. And the other two books are covers that have been made using Brooke Shaden's images. I love her work, so I kind of wanted to display those somehow. The next shelf is just rainbow order books that I only have one of that author, so genres are all mixed together. The next row down, it it's a hodgepodge. Like I said, I try to keep authors together. So on the one side, you have things like Renee Audier and Sabah Tahir. And then you have Marissa Meyer and Gail Carriger together. They are two of my favorite authors. The six bookshelves that are right in the middle. So you have Brandon Sanderson that is the exact middle when I'm filming. And then up above it is some of my favorites and down below it are some of my favorites. So like I said, we have Marissa Meyer, we have Gail Carriger, then we have Hugh Howey, which then morphs into a whole slew of sci-fi that I really, really love. I'm not gonna go through all of this. If you guys ever want me to do a bookshelf tour, I will totally do that. But with Brandon Sanderson, I also have things like V.E. Schwab, and then it morphs into, I had a real kick out of that, right next to V.E. Schwab, to the, let's see, we're looking at the bookcase, so to the left side of V.E. Schwab, we have both Kirsten White and Holly Black. I put white and black together. I love that. But down below Brandon Sanderson and V.E. Schwab, we've got some of my favorite darker stories, my horror stories, and then some of my fairy tale series that I absolutely love. In the very bottom, I did a white to black shelf, because why not? And then everything that's next to the reading chair are series that I have that I'm not 100% sure how I feel about. I don't want to get rid of them yet. Some of them I haven't finished yet. But they aren't series that I felt needed to be displayed while I was filming. So that's a quick, rough overview of everything. So that was me organizing my bookshelves. Like I said, I didn't want to do a complete in-depth tour because that would take a while plus I have other bookcases that I think if I ever did a bookshelf tour I want I would want to walk you through everything that I have not just a certain bookcase but this is how I think it's gonna sit for a little while I am very warm I am very sweaty I have no idea how long this has taken me so far I'm guessing about two or three hours which relatively is pretty good. I'm gonna sit on this for a couple of days, see how I feel about it. I'm guessing it's gonna stay like this for a while. Tell me down below what your thoughts are on this new setup. I would love to hear from you guys and I can't believe that I have been making book videos for six years. That is huge. I wanna thank each and every one of you for being with me on this journey, supporting me on this journey. And of course, if you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe down below, click that bell, get all those notifications. And I do have a membership plan if you wanna become one of my Sholos or my Sphinx and get special member benefits. Links down below. And of course, I heart your beautiful faces. Bye.